Welcome to Cup of Teach channel. Hello everyone. Today, I'm going to teach you on how to solve quadratic equations using square root property. Solving quadratic equation means finding the values of the variable that satisfy the equation. The values are called solutions or roots. In solving quadratic equation, using square root property. If, x squared minus c, equals 0, transpose negative c, to the right side of the equation, and it will become, positive c, so x squared, equals c. Then, get the square root, of both sides, we will have square root of x squared, equals to the square root of c. Square root of x squared, is x square root of c, is, plus or minus, square root of c. This is for all non-negative real number c. The roots, of the equation, are positive square root of c, and negative, square root of c. Example, x squared, equals 49. Get the square root, of both sides, we will have, square root of x squared, equals to the square root, of 49. Square root of x squared, is x. Since, 49 is perfect square, using the table at the right side, the square root of 49, is 7. Therefore, x is equal to, plus or minus 7, and the roots or solutions are, positive 7, and negative 7. Next is, x squared minus 8, equals 0. First, transpose negative 8, to the right side of the equation, so it will become positive 8, so we will have, x squared, equals 8. Get the square root, of both sides, we will have now, square root of, x squared, equals to the square root, of 8. Square root of x squared, is x. Since, 8 is not perfect square, we need to factor it. So what do you think are the factors of 8? Wherein one factor is perfect square? 4 times 2 x equals to the square root of 4 times 2. Which of these two factors is perfect square? 4. So what is the square root of 4? Use the table at the right side. 2, therefore, we will have, x is equal to, plus or minus 2, square root of 2. And, the roots are, 2 square root of 2, and negative 2, square root of 2. 3. The square of, x plus 2, equals 16, first. Get the square root of both sides, we will have, the square root of, quantity x plus 2 squared, equals to the square root of 16. The square root of quantity x plus 2 squared, is x plus 2. Since, 16 is perfect square, use the table at the right side, the square root of 16 is, 4. So, we have, x plus 2 equals plus or minus 4, then, transpose positive 2 to the right side, it will become negative 2, therefore, x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 4. Let us, separate the two equations. First, x, is equal to, negative 2 plus 4, second, x, is equal to, negative 2 minus 4, Get the sum of negative 2 and 4, so, x equals 2. How about negative 2 minus 4? x is equal to negative 6, therefore, what are the roots of the equation? 2, and negative 6. Try this. The square of, 2x minus 3 equals 169, what do you think, is the first step? 
First step, get the square root, of both sides, so we will have, square root, of quantity 2x minus 3 squared, equals to the square root of 169. The square root of, quantity 2x minus 3 squared, is 2x minus 3, since 169, is perfect square, use the table at the right side, the square root of 169, is 13. We will have, 2x minus 3, equals plus or minus 13, transpose, negative 3 to the right side, it will become, positive 3, therefore, 2x, equals 3, plus or minus 13. Then, divide both side by 2. So, x, is equal to, 3 plus or minus 13, all over 2. Separate the equation, first, x, equals 3 plus 13, all over 2, then, x, equals 16 over 2, so x, is equal to 8. Second equation, x, equals 3 minus 13, all over 2, then, x, equals negative 10 over 2, therefore, x, is equal to, negative 5. So, what are the roots? The roots are, 8, and negative 5. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!